guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Natalie I like to bring content around basically everything so just everyday life health fitness wedding planning baking all sorts you will see me Jake and Elsie on this channel Elsie is our nearly four-year-old cockapoo and she tends to bark so I feel like I need to add her to the disclaimer to every new vlog now. If you are not new here, then welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And yeah, I'm excited to get into this chatty sit down vlog with you all. So if you are new here, at the end of February, I did a vlog around March motivation slash spring cleaning our lives. If you haven't seen it, it is on my channel so I will leave a link to it below for you all but basically we all got to a point where we were sick of the winter slump and we were starting a new motivational positive vibe through March so that when spring, which still hasn't got the memo, but when spring finally hits us, which I think is two weeks today when I'm filming this, um, that we are all feeling refreshed, reset and ready to tackle spring and summer in our best version of ourselves happiest most positive reset lives basically and I did promise you all that what I would do is bring extra content each week checking in with you guys giving you updates on things that I've been doing things that I've been reading things that I've been loving and it is the 12th of March and I'm very conscious that I haven't done that yet so I'm so sorry if you have been following along I will uh, put another picture of the template that we've been using but what I'll do is I'll kind of go through the template of the things that we were going to do to spring clean our lives and then just sort of update you on what I have been doing to kind of reflect that if that makes sense so let me just find it I should have been more organized it's right here actually so that's fine and um, so yeah I'll leave us uh, leave a picture of it here for you guys but yeah I thought I would just come on and just update you with midway through the month see how you guys are getting on give you that re-motivation because I know I certainly need the re-motivation I feel like end of February beginning of March I was so up for it I was so like yes I'm ready to feel this new lease of life out of winter into spring feel like a spring in my step quite literally um, and the weather has just not been weathering guys it is really hard isn't it I feel like when you look outside every single day and it's just grey and rainy and cold it's so cold this week I know March sometimes snows so I can't complain because it's not snowing but yeah I feel like it's a struggle and also I had a few days last week that I had like we had an appointment for Elsie that I was feeling quite anxious about and then it was Mother's Day and it was my dad's anniversary of passing away so I had a bit of a not a meh weekend like I still stuck with my goals but I just I wasn't really feeling my best so I needed I need a mid-March re-kick basically so what we'll do is we'll go through the list not everything because obviously we'd be here forever and um, we'll go through some bits on the list and I've got some bits down here that I thought I would share with you all just to give you some tips on what I've been doing basically if you guys have been taking part or you guys have got your own goals written to sort of get in that spring mindset or you've been I don't know working on something for yourself please let us know in the comments below because I know so many people read comments and look at what people are saying so you might not even just help me you might help somebody else with some of your tips as well so the biggest one which is the biggest confession I need to make was we were going to be drinking two to three liters of water every single day I have my water bottle have I been doing this no first couple of days yes odd days yes but every day no drinking water when it's freezing cold outside I just struggle guys if I'm in the office I find it better but when I'm at home I think as well like I've been having smoothies every day and I, in the afternoon I tend to have um like an iced coffee or a hot coffee and then because I'm drinking those things I don't drink water as well does anybody else have that so on the days where I'm having like a protein shake a coffee a smoothie I know that does still count as water but in my head I'm like oh I haven't drunk my water bottle so yeah I do really need to get back onto that so if you guys have got any tips I have seen people talking about drinking like warm squash or like hot squash but that's just not for me so yeah I'm really struggling guys I have been having in the evenings um 
I've mentioned it in a vlog before, I've been having making my own cool lime refreshers. So it's a uh, lime and mint cordial oil, I might be saying that wrong, a dash of soda or tonic water and diet lemonade. And I've been having that in the evenings, which again, doesn't really count as water, but it is like a drink, obviously it's refreshing. It hits that sweet craving. So again, in the evenings, I've been drinking that, but not drinking water. So yeah, I'm making excuses guys, basically. But if you have not been drinking all your water, don't worry, you're not alone. I've been slacking on the water front and I really can't talk either because I've got two Stanley cups, this one, and I've got a shorter one, which I absolutely love. So I have no excuse. I've got the cute water bottle. I've got, it stays cold all day, like literally zero excuse. Um, but yeah, if you guys have got any tips on how to drink water, I've been doing things like, um, messaging my sister-in-law and messaging my friends and putting on Instagram like randomly like pictures of water bottles or sending people gifts and being like quick drink water and in that moment I'm like yeah drink it and then yeah so yeah any tips guys would be gratefully received and um, 15 minutes heart to half an hour walk slash fresh air every single day now this one I have been doing I think I've maybe had one or two days where I haven't done that and that's just because the weather's been just ridiculously awful so on sunday for example it literally rained all day even the dog was like you're not getting me out in that so me and jim went me and jim <laughs> me and jim me and jake went to the gym instead not me and jim me and jake uh, went to the gym instead but yeah i didn't get my fresh air that day i did go out but i didn't go like out on a walk so i just think for me especially if i'm having like a down day or an anxious day or i'm not good at sitting still all day i have to get out and get some fresh air so yeah, that one is one that I have done and I've also managed to do 10,000 steps most days and I'm really trying to stick to that, which also really encourages me to get out on a longer walk. So if I don't get out on a walk every single day, the days that I do get out, I'm out for even longer. So yeah, I am, that is one I can safely say I've been doing. So have you guys been doing that? If you haven't, pop a podcast in, you know, do whatever you need to do to get yourself out and enjoying some fresh air right anyway i'm not going to go through every single one because we're just going to really be here forever so three to four workouts a week i have been doing that and also i've added in running which is something i really wanted to do in march so the last two weeks i've done a 5k run on the treadmill at the gym i do really want to try and do an outside run through march but i'm not doing that until it warms up because I just can't do it but moving on from that i mentioned in my when i first did this vlog about listening to podcasts or finding inspirational accounts and things that you love rather than when you're on social media watching things that don't really resonate with you don't inspire you make you feel a little bit flat rather than a little bit motivated i have been absolutely loving watching holly b fitness on youtube and on instagram i will leave her in the caption below so that you can go and find her but if you are looking for someone that does like uh fitness videos healthy food food shop everyday life as well but it's mainly like health and fitness obviously for me this year that's a really big focus for me we're getting married this year i really want to work on myself mentally and physically and i know that working out and eating better is a huge thing for my mental health as well so for me, that's a really big thing. And honestly, I'm loving her content so much. So yeah, if you are interested in that, um, like I said, I'll leave her in the description box below. And if you've not seen her stuff before, I recommend going and checking her out because she inspired me to start running, like as in back into the gym, doing a 5K on the treadmill. Like she really inspired me to do that. And um, yeah, just I've taken some really good food um, tips from her and recipe tips. Yeah, so I really loved that. So that was just one of my biggest things was I really wanted to scroll less on my phone, less screen time. But when I am using my screen time, because sometimes for me, scrolling through my phone is like my wind down time. So like I've replaced a lot of my scrolling from Instagram or TikTok to Pinterest because Pinterest has got a lot more things on there that serve me and fill my cup up rather than watching them and feeling a bit deflated so I've just tried to instead of scrolling through those places where I can come away sometimes and feel a little bit like meh um switch into Pinterest and finding accounts that I feel like I come away from and feel really like yeah like really inspired so yeah she's been a huge one for me the last couple of weeks I feel like I've literally binged her YouTube um because I work from home I tend to have my iPad to the side and when I'm doing bits and bobs I just have youtube going and i've literally binged her her page so yeah really recommend her and um, so yeah that's kind of just pushed on from the workout situation to podcasts and things 
Favourite podcast has always and will always be Luana the podcast. If you've not listened to it, it's so funny. It talks about real stuff as well. Like, there's some heartfelt bits in it. There's some funny bits in it. There's some news bits. Like, it's so all round just really good. It's got Anna Williamson and Louisa Zisman in it. I don't know if you've ever listened to it. It's a little bit rude sometimes, but it's just honestly so uplifting and hilarious. So, yeah, that one. And also, me and Jake listen to the Peter Crouch and Abby Clancy Therapy Crouch podcast. Again, really lovely. Love it. So funny. Really lovely. It's just a really good feel-good podcast. It's hilarious. It talks about things that is your everyday, like, bugbears in a relationship and everyday life. Like, it's really funny. And me and Jake have taken from that doing the wine of the week. So I've mentioned in here loads of times that me and Jake do Pasta Friday. And on Pasta Friday, we have a bottle of wine and we've taken from that podcast doing the wine of the week, which is where you can sit down and sort of say like, this is what's annoyed me this week. Um, we tend to do ours about the week in general. So like if we've got anything that we want to get off our chest on a Friday evening, we're like, right, get it off your chest, rant about it, get it out there. What have I done to annoy you? What have you done to annoy me? Like all in jest, like all just, you know, lighthearted kind of thing sometimes it spurs on like a really serious not serious conversation but sometimes it spurs on like something that we might have been bottling up or whatever most of the time it's something silly like oh you jake for example for example in the last few days i always moan that i do all the washing and it literally the washing is never ending especially where we're gymming quite a lot i just feel like i said jake i feel like a washing machine like taking the washing down putting it in putting it on taking it out hanging it up putting it away ironing blah blah, blah. i don't do the ironing jake does the ironing but that's because it's his stuff my stuff i don't iron my stuff do you iron your stuff i iron it on the morning if i need it but i don't i just chuck it away and then iron it when i need to um and i was moaning about it and i came downstairs and he'd put a wash on and forgotten about it so it'd been in there for 24 hours that's the kind of wines we're having over here people so yeah that is what we do so that's a really good podcast and it's led on to us having like a really nice evening and taking that from it as well the pasta and wine part wasn't from the podcast but the wine of the week was so yeah i really recommend that podcast and doing something like that with your other half or friend or whoever it is once a week sitting down together whether it's a weekend a weeknight cooking your favorite food ours is pasta mine 100 percent is pasta so yeah we take it in turns to cook cook a recipe for each other and just sit and have a nice evening together it doesn't cost you really anything either so yeah that podcast and that lovely evening as well right so what i'm gonna do now is basically other things in here were things like journaling practicing gratitude reading more eating more fruit and veg so smoothies have been a massive every single day i've been having a smoothie frozen berries greek yogurt water orange juice oats whatever you want to chuck in it chuck in it but i do recommend frozen fruit not fresh because it just makes it colder catch up with a friend that you've been meaning to catch up with so i'm did actually see one of my friends yesterday which i hadn't seen for a while and i'm also seeing my other friend on saturday which i can't wait for book the class you've been meaning to book pottery painting book something in that you've been meaning to book in um wear the colour like it was basically silly things like that so what I thought I would do now is just go through some of my favourites so my favourite products things that I've been using to make me feel good things I've been reading journals that I use so I will start with the journals because I think I've shared them on here so many times and if you guys have been here and you watch all the time you'll be like yeah we're bored we've seen that so many times so journals that I use the sage journal every single morning i have got a little bit lazy at filling it out in the evening as well but every single morning especially on a weekday first thing i do when i wake up listen to my jay shetty daily J on calm absolutely love listening to that seven minutes a little bit of meditation a little bit of like mindset mindfulness speaking love that and then i fill out my sage journal and then in the evenings i've been filling out this greatest manifestation book the one written by you and this is by vex king um absolutely love that it's got like different journaling prompts in it um different like challenges and stuff and what i've also really enjoyed doing recently is i've got a little blank notepad by the side of my bed and if i feel like i'm having an evening where i've got a particularly busy busy brain i can even get the words out i've been scribbling down like 
um, a to-do list for the next day, like things that I want to do, whether it's just even, oh, tomorrow I want to do a half an hour walk, or I must remember to reply to that wedding supplier, or I've got this to do at work. Like I've been trying to do stuff like that so that I'm sleeping better because I am really struggling to sleep at the moment and it's concerning me because I have such an active, busy brain anyway. Like I'm a really big dreamer. Like my brain is just constantly on the go, even when I'm asleep. And I'm already having like wedding nightmares and thinking of the weirdest stuff before I'm going to sleep. So I'm really trying to crack down on an evening like sleep routine because I'm just thinking like, we've still got seven months to go and this is already happening. So I dread to think in like August, what my sleep is gonna be like. So I'm really trying to crack down on that now like putting nice scents on when I go to sleep like I've got a nice weed diffuser weed diffuser is that what it's called like the electric diffusers and I put sleep oils in there and I've got my journals and I've been like brain dumping all my to-do lists and like random thoughts at bedtime down I've been taking these ashwagandha ashwagandha gummies I don't know if I'm saying that right uh, from my vitamins and these honestly guys I've been taking these at about four five o'clock in the evening and I don't know, I don't want to sit here and say like, oh, these are working. But honestly, the last week I've been doing this and I feel so much more zen in the evenings. I haven't had like the anxiety in the evenings. I haven't felt like I've still got a busy brain, but I feel like my body as a whole feels a bit more like, huh. And I don't know if it is the gummies, I don't know if it's a psychological thing, but these are to improve brain function, reduce stress, reduce fatigue, like they're meant to be like that sort of like zen vibe gummy. So yeah, I don't know if it's got anything to do with these, but these are what I've been incorporating into my evening routine every single day for the last week. And I feel like I can see a difference, so I'll leave a link for those below for you guys. Um, reading wise, let me just move on. So I wanted to start reading at least one book a month, but also I want to read one to two chapters every night before I go to bed. So get into bed, do my journaling, you know, don't force the journaling if I'm not feeling it, but do the journaling, put my pillow spray out, which is the feather and down pillow spray that I use every single day like this is running out and I get anxiety when it starts to run out um absolutely love that it's like five pounds on Amazon or Superdrug or wherever you can get this you can get it so many different places and I absolutely love that so yeah spray my pillow spray I've got my diffuser going in bed I've done my moisturizer done my skincare all of that jazz and reading one to two chapters a book of a book a night and I've already finished this one so these are Georgia to Tofolo, 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 I don't know how you say her name, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. She's written four books, she might have written more, but this is like the sequence of four books. Meet Me in London is the first one, so I've already read that one, and this was so good, guys, that I stayed up to like 1am reading it. So, I've given myself a new rule, which is only one to two chapters a night, unless I'm reading it like in the bath or something, that's different, but when I get into bed, no more than two chapters, because my brain... Like, it just has to know what's going to happen. It has to get to the end. Like, and I'm trying to really train myself to slow down. So this is what I'm thinking. This might sound really ridiculous, but I'm challenging myself to read a book slower so that it might help my brain slow down before bed. Because I find as well, like, I'll read a book and I'm like, I need to know what's going to happen and I'll stay up and read it. And then my brain is still really active. So kind of has the opposite effect sometimes. I probably sound like a right crazy natalie don't i um but yeah i finished this one already and i absolutely loved it like it's a proper girly feel good romance friendship like absolutely loved it so i'm now on number two which is meet me in hawaii it's basically about a group of friends and each book is about each individual friend but they like come together in places so you'll probably hear like about the other friends still in each book or i'm hoping so because I need to know more about the first friend in the first book, so I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm like four chapters in, just as good. I feel like it's each book's going to probably have a very similar storyline, but if you're looking for something that's like light-hearted, easy read, very girly, very romantic rom-com vibes, these I recommend. I've got two more to go after that as well, um, so I'll leave these in the description box below for you so that you know which ones they are and what order they go in. So that's my books. Um, skincare, I'm trying to up my skincare, A, for the wedding, B, for that wind down in the evening and just general self-care, self-love, 
you know we're vibing we're meant to be looking after ourselves we're getting into the spring summer summer mindset so yeah looking after myself so i've been using this avino daily moisturizing lotion it's the calming relief one so i put this on at bedtime i'm not i'm not one of those girls that showers moisturizes gets dressed like i really wish i was i would love to be that girl that's like in the morning showering she's taking her time she's got you know all her skincare laid out she's got her moisturizer ready i can't i don't have time i'm rushing even though i work from home i'm rushing too much to moisturize before i get dressed in the morning so i'm an evening moisturizer girly and only recently i'm terrible it's really bad please don't come at me but i'm an awful moisturizer so that's what this is for this, oh, I've just got that all over my leggings as well. So this is the Calming Relief one. Calms normal to dry skin, and it's got like a really gorgeous like lavender scent to it. So this is another thing that's helping me with sleep slash body self-care stuff. Really recommend that one. Um, hair care, actually, yeah, we'll just, I'll pick this up, so I will talk about hair care. I showed these in my weekend vlog the other week. These are the Rehab Oils from the Stacey Solomon's um, company obsessed absolutely obsessed jake's sister let me borrow one of hers just to try it and i instantly went on and ordered them like your hair honestly i washed my hair today put it through damp hair before i dried it and it's just so silky smooth i'm really excited i'm having my hair extensions out in may just for a month or so before wedding hen do hair goes in um, and i'm really excited to use these like on my whole head um like as like a mask and things before i wash it i really recommend these they're just so Two, I reckon two of these caps will 100% last, sorry, one cap would do two hair washes when I haven't got my extensions in and I think now probably like two thirds of a cap does my hair and then I use like the other third as like a just a ends tamer while I'm like in between washes. Um, smells amazing, silky smooth hair, like absolutely love those. Um, what else are we talking about? I'm kind of jumping back a step now. This is just the moisturiser I use every night. I've raved about this a million times on here and on Instagram. But this is the New Skin Pillow Glow, Pillow Glow Sleeping Mask. I actually lent this to one of my friends the other day who was having some issues with her skin. And she messaged me the next day saying that instantly she had an improvement with her skin. I'll ask her if she minds me taking a screenshot of the message that she sent me. Um, I won't put her name in it or anything, but I'll ask her if she minds. And if she doesn't, I'll pop a screenshot of her message just to show that she genuinely loved it, like, instantly. Such a buttery, gorgeous moisturiser. Like, the glow that you get from it is unreal. I keep on saying that I will do a skincare routine with you guys. And I just haven't got round to it yet, so I will do that at some point and show you that. Makeup. I shared this in a weekend vlog the other day. I've been using these a lot more because I've been trying to be better. Again, in the March Motivation vlog, I mentioned that I can go days sometimes working from home, not putting makeup on, not redoing my hair, like brushing my hair and just chucking it up, putting gym, gym gear on and just working from home. Um, so this is something I've been using for a while and mixing it in with my foundation. But what I actually did is I bought the same one but in a lighter colour. So these are the L'Oreal Paris True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serums. And this one I can get away with putting on on its own. Sorry guys, I ran out of storage there. So if the camera's now in a different place, I do apologise. But basically what I was saying was this lighter shade of this plumping tinted serum, I can get away with putting this on. This one was a bit too dark, so I had to mix it with my foundation, which I do still do on like if I'm going out or whatever. But this one I can get away with just popping it on in the morning with a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of mascara. And I feel so put together. It's so lightweight. It really does give you coverage as well um and it doesn't feel as bad as using my foundation because sometimes i don't want to put my foundation on because it feels like a waste of money when you're just sitting at home like i don't want to use my expensive foundation um so this has been a really good investment i'll leave this below hang on she's just having a water check back to the beginning of the video of drink more water so yeah really recommend these they're another favorite this I think I've shared just a Zara perfume, absolutely love Zara perfumes, so affordable, dupes of, you know, expensive perfumes, some of them, some of them just smell incredible, I don't know if they are dupes, but really recommend those for everyday wear, to be honest, I think 
the only reason now I'll buy an expensive perfume is for the wedding and that's just because it feels like you should and um, I probably just buy these and use these all the time now they're like 20 to 35 pounds and yeah smell incredible last all day and again you don't mind wearing these working from home because they're not expensive and you feel good because you smell good and smelling good just yeah makes me feel put together and yeah absolutely love this i'm gonna end on a revolution that i have found in the last two weeks this is my if you've made it this far i should have shared this at the beginning because if you haven't made it this far you're going to miss out and that's just terrible for everyone i have found the best deodorant ever in the last two weeks now you're probably going to watch this and think that i sound absolutely insane um am i going to be confessing that i struggle with deodorant yes i am we're all friends here i really should remember that anybody anybody could be watching these videos but we are all friends here and i feel like i owe it to you guys to let you know how good this deodorant is by admitting to you that i really struggle to find good deodorant i'm not really a sweaty girl sorry if this is tmi but i'm not really a sweaty girl but i find i don't know if anybody else is the same i really find that if i wear tops that like cling like t-shirts long-sleeved cotton tops i find by the end of the day that i'm like oh need to get changed like a bit smelly sometimes i think it's in your head like sometimes i'm like oh jake am I smelly and he's like no so sometimes I think it's in your head but I feel like for me it's been a thing that I've had my entire life where I get to a point in the day and I think oh no I need more deodorant I need more perfume I've really struggled throughout the years to find something that I feel like by the end of the day I still feel fresh I've tried the wild perfumes and I just did not get on with them at all I tried that natural Mitchum deodorant I shared it in a vlog a few vlogs ago it was horrendous i know sometimes with the natural ones you have to let your body get used to it but i'm not willing to do that i'm sorry like we're gymming are we busy like i'm just not doing that i was worrying i was worrying guys about the wedding like am i gonna get halfway through the day and obviously you've been stressed you've been anxious like you've been rushing around like am i gonna smell halfway through the day like i know i can put deodorant on but yeah i was panicking and this is tmi and i'm not even sorry about it because i'm so excited i bought this deodorant the other week i was in asda i knew i'd run out of deodorant i thought right, which one can i grab i like to use a roll-on and a spray as well because i'm just a paranoid girl um i grabbed this one not thinking anything of it didn't really look at what it was just picked it up this has been an absolute game changer guys it is the nivea derma dry control new derma dry technology now is this new i don't know like as in a new deodorant or if it's just like new derma technology i don't know let me just see if i can get that to focus now it sounds excessive jake laughed at me when i told him this it's 96 hour protection 96 hour extreme sweat defense and it also protects your skin now you might be watching this thinking that this isn't one of those like eco-friendly ones like wild is like i get it but when i tell you i even after i fake tanned the other day which if you're watching this and you're a fake tanner you will probably know and probably be able to relate that once you fake tanned the next day is a struggle like deodorant just rebels against the fake tan and it can be a whole new situation this is a really in-depth conversation about smelly armpits i'm aware i'm not a smelly girl like i'm not walking around smelling so please don't watch this channel and think i'm not gonna watch her anymore she's the smelly girl i put this on with a long sleeve tight crop top pair of jeans went about my day got to bedtime and i was like i could wear this top again i could wear it again tomorrow because I literally felt so fresh, like wasn't sweaty, wasn't smelly, I'd worn it all day, I'd been out and about all day, here, there and everywhere, after the gym, not smelly. Literally, I've embarrassed myself having this conversation, but if there is just one other person watching this who really struggles with deodorant, please go and buy this deodorant. I've also seen they do it in a spray as well, so when my spray runs out, I'm gonna go and buy that too and use both. Have I stocked up on this? yes i have jake came home the other day and i was like i've got eight quid's worth of deodorant sitting in my super drug basket he wouldn't let me buy it but i'm gonna buy some and i'm gonna put it away for the wedding and the honeymoon because my concern is they're gonna discontinue it or i won't be able to get hold of it or people will get wind of it and everyone will be buying it but honestly please guys if there's anything that you're gonna do from this vlog don't even drink more water don't don't do it 
go and buy this deodorant. Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Asda. I don't think they have it in Boots. I haven't seen it in Boots yet, but online, Google it. I'll leave a link below. It's a revelation, revolution, revolution. Best thing ever, honestly. I don't even care that I've just embarrassed myself because I'm really hoping that one other person is watching this and thinking, I struggle with that. So if you do, this little deodorant, along with its spray, which I haven't tested yet, but I'd imagine would be the same, is gonna be for you. And on that note, I'm gonna go and probably never come back because I'll edit this back and embarrass myself or get some sort of troll comment and never come back. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will try and come back with some more like March motivation check-in videos and highlights and videos and things like that for you guys. If you've got any tips on things that you've been doing to sort of get yourself out of the winter slump slash into the positive spring summer mindset, please let me know in the comments. I really would be interested to know. I'm now gonna go and walk the dog how nice is it by the way that I've been able to vlog after work it's a little bit funny lighting but it's so light outside still it's such a nice treat um but yeah I'm gonna go now so I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video if you did enjoy this one please give it a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already because that means the world and just shows me that people are interested so that I can keep coming and making more for you guys and I will see you all very soon have lovely weeks and yeah see you in the next video goodbye <music>